There we go. Yep, yep. <laughs> Borderless Gaming is still on. Ahoy, everyone, and welcome. Ahoy, everyone who is joining us on uh, <clears throat> on you know, YouTube for this. And we just finished with, frankly, we just finished with Titanfall 2 under an hour. So, yeah, for the rest of the stream today, we are going to start with, well, Blast Brigade versus the Evil Legion of Dr. Freed. <laughs> okay, um... Could do a uh, proper introduction? There we go. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Here's a mighty Tinder Kid, along with my Alex and a humble mental image of a spaghetti with human eyeballs, thanks to Rom. <laughs> Yeah, he joined us for the last bit of Titanfall 2. But yeah, yeah since yeah, yeah just a, a, a stream of just one hour would be undercutting it a ton. So we're starting with this one. And we're yep. starting anew, so clearing this one. Yeah, uh, for context. Rob used the term spaghettify for situation, and that's where I got the mental image of basically the flag in spaghetti monster. The year is a 1981, a 189. To battle the rising tide of global supercrime, a secret organization called Blast is formed. This organization recruits operatives with unmatched skills and unique personalities. Uh, one particular team among these operatives will soon become known as Blast Brigade. Oh, uh, so the evil lady of Dr. Cr I Get the snake pliskin. I guess so. I've drawn that. <laughs> I've drawn Jeff. <laughs> Big freaking cannon. Screw you, woman. I'm getting out of this thing first. Those two must be thinking, there goes Jeff, finally rid of him. Huh? Oof. I think I got sand in all the wrong places. Sure hope HQ kept up with the insurance payments on that jet. Uh... Hey buddy, you still alive? Looking for your boss, uh, Dr. Uh, Sneed or Speed? Dr. Speed? Ah, oh, you know him. Crazy dude, evil plan. Probably treat you like crap. Ring a bell? No. We rung his nothing? bell. Well, don't worry. I'm on it. After all, I'm Blast Agent Jeff Jefferson, and I can sniff out villainy just as well as I can snuff it out. Yeah. Okay, how, how many times did you practice that one in the mirror? <laughs> okay. Okay, it still has the control, the, the change controls from last time. And you were going to say something? Well, I said burbs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those were butterflies this time. Uh, yeah, those are butterflies. <clears throat> Blast falls. Top secret. From last super evil target uh, list, target number 12, Dr. Creed's. Background, mad scientist, criminal mastermind, commander of the Creed Legion. Wanted for crimes against humanity, heinous experiments, being extremely obnoxious. Current status, entrenched in a citadel on an uncharted island in the Pacific Ocean. Surrounded by a legion of evil minions, robots, cyborgs, and monsters. Apprehend dead or alive. <laughs> Alright, Dr. Creed was his name. I should write that on my hand or something. Or your forehead. Then again, you'd probably think that was your name then. 
<clears throat> okay. Now, I don't know too much about this game, so... Well, oh. hello there. We're open for business. Sweet. Okay, just arrive. You know what to do with it. Just point the barrel at the enemy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know too much about this game. So most of this outside of what we've seen in the, the showcase, which is about the first half hour. Uh, yeah, uh, besides that, everything should be fresh. And yeah, most of what I know is that this game plays mostly like a Metroidvania and... From what I've seen, the people who made this, well, are big fans of Metroidvanias. And yeah, it also has plenty of personality. <laughs> yeah, his... Yeah, we've been... Well, probably mostly I've been very eager for this one. Okay, originally the, the jump button was on A, I believe, but I swapped that out because, well, it's easier to move around and jump with the trigger. When that's still... Well, uh, I can actually aim around still... Like, if I try to jump and try and aim and fire, then I have to, well, I have to stop doing one or the other. A radio? Um, now we're cooking. Let's see how the others landed. Maybe you have to say something. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, left trigger for jump. That's what I changed it to myself, Tatum. It, like I said, it was originally A, but, well, it's not, it's hard to aim and shoot and jump at the same time. <clears throat> And well, with, Met with Metroidvania games like this, mobility is a big thing. <clears throat> a radio. Now we're cooking. Let's see how the others landed. Yep, he already said that himself. But... Let's see. Uh... De Armas, do you read? Come on, old man, say something. Are you alive? Huh? Captain, do you read? It's Jeff Jefferson. Remember me? From the exploding jet. <laughs> ah, that'll be fine. They'll probably get back to me when they get a chance. Might as well rest up while I wait. No, you do have fingers that are for more than just <laughs> pulling triggers. with some fool who can be tricked with your silly spy games. All of you blast troublemakers are already dead. You're just too stupid to know it. Oh, but that's above your pay grade, isn't it? You're just a pilot, hardly a threat. Minions, take her to the laboratory. We'll use her for spare parts. And then get out there and find me a real spy. <laughs> Again, I cut him short there. <laughs> what? Well, thanks, Jeff. A uh, uh, little power nap, and I'm feeling golden, baby. I'm done waiting around. Let's raise some hell. Oh uh, yeah, if need be, I can always change the jump button around to something else. But for the moment, I think this is just going to be better. It's okay. We can't break through that yet. Yeah, I usually prefer that the controls work well. Uh, I guess you with your hands, like it should feel natural with your hands. Yeah. Like I have seen games where I looked fun when I played it. They felt like it felt really awkward. They want what they wanted you to do to do a special yeah. moves and all that. It was almost extremely uncomfortable to do with some uh, movements with your hand. I just wondered, what kind of fingers do they expect you to have? 
and that's from controllers to even keyboards. I think, I think that seems some extremely horrible ones for keyboards. We just wonder, how the heck are you supposed? You need a third arm to do this one or something like that. Yeah, that, that's often with uh, ports of console games. Uh, yeah, I, I know it looks wrong, Tatum, but. Well, you'll see in a boss fight that's coming up that it's this is going to be a lot more useful, I'd say. That's Creed News. Greetings, my minions. This is your overlord, Dr. Creed. Wait, is this thing even recording? Yes? Oh, good, right. I'm sure to report that a blast aircraft has been destroyed on approach to the island. <laughs> in celebration of this magnificent feat, the drill station's laser cannon crew will be awarded additional vacation days. And pizza. Ah, hold on, I've been informed that most of the crew has been eaten by the giant jellyfish. How oh, unfortunate. I guess I'll be eating that pizza myself. <laughs> Read out. Uh, yeah, I'm... All right, here. Yeah, da -da -da. You can choose one of two pre-made control schemes or customize your controls manually in the settings. Uh, yeah, yeah, it just shows you I already changed it. it... And yeah, alternative is access jump. Okay. Yep, access attack. Good. What is... Yeah, it's still that would be still that would just leave me with a lot less mobility of just jumping and aiming at the same time. So I'll stick it with I'll stick with this. Also, I said this during the showcase, but these these robot mooks remind me a lot of the the main character from Cave Story. And I still can't remember their blasted names. Yeah, I don't think it's actually ever said Wait. in the game itself. What? I don't think that's what you said last time. Uh, what do you think I said earlier then? Uh, you compared it to Wally last time. Yeah, that's with the that's with the the roller bots, like the one on the left there. These are Wally. Oh, oh, okay. Not you mean legally the, the, Wally. Oh, you mean the you were talking about the flying balls? Uh, these ones with the cap. Those are the ones that okay. remind me of this cave story character. Okay, okay, now, now I, I get that. Okay, now I get ya. There's a little bit of misunderstanding then. No. I'm still not sure if they are robots or humans. I think it's robots. SSH fabricator kits, an undamaged secret spy hideout for fabrication fabricator kit. Salvage from the debris of the bla downed blast aircraft. I'm trying to read way too fast. <clears throat> and my throat is way too dry. <clears throat> These kits are used by blast agents to fabricate structures while well in the field. So yeah, that will be for some sort of upgrades later, I'm pretty sure. I just realized... I don't think they are robots. He, he said for spare parts. They talk about a human for spare parts. Oh! Could be for experiments. But, or... Yeah, maybe they're robots, maybe they're cyborgs. Just, we'll uh... see. Okay, when the original plan hits the skids, you make a new one. Actually, before anything else, I'm going to quickly step out together, just a like gulp of water. Yeah. You know that? I'm going to check my food. And grab some water as well. Eight back. It's a good thing I keep just a, a mug in my room at nearly all times, mostly because I just forget to remove them. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, there, that should help. Okay. <clears throat> Let's give Rakir a minute. Jeff, you have to evaluate the threat. Jeff, this is a complex situation. <laughs> oh, yeah. Real complex. New plan. Rescue my friends. Defeat Dr. Cream. Steal a plane. Home in time for the World Series. Boom! Plan made. <laughs> that's not a plan. That's a checklist. <laughs> evaluate the threat, my... Uh, oh, wait. Oh, what's happening? Are you all right, Captain? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> huh? 
<laughs> and Jeff just looked at the fucking screen. Yeah, giant jellyfish. Did I hit my head worse than I thought? What? Easy there, little buddy. Just go back in the ocean while you can. Whoa there. Well, hell, have it your way, wannabe Kraken. Don't say nobody warned you. Cyber Gorgonauts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is what I fear he might the doctor does. So I. Uh, I mean, you get, you get the idea when I say Doctor Frankenstein. Yeah. Good. And yeah, I think you can see now why I'd want the jump button to be entirely separate on the other side of the controller. Yep. Yep. Ow. Yep. And yeah, we automatically reload. Ooh. Ow. When we run out, or we just stop firing for a bit. And there we go. Okay, let's not get hit by the last round. That all you got, big guy? Guess so. Man, that was crazy. Nobody's even gonna believe this happened. No, Jeff, we won't strap a camera to your head. <laughs> yeah, who's the dumbass now, De Armas? <laughs> Jeff just wants a GoPro. Yeah, and his me. I think many military is dust that nowadays. They're not GoPros, but at least some sort of body cam. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a type of body cam on a helmet or a suit. But not a GoPro specifically. <laughs> I thought I lost you forever! And not a scratch on you! Oh, don't worry. I won't let an anti-air laser defense cannon separate us ever again. Now, let's go see what kind of trouble we can make. Plenty. How about we go blast some fools, yeah? Grenade launcher. Fires a grenade that damages enemies and destroys wooden crate barricades. The right button. Oh, yeah. <laughs> shoulder button. Okay, we have limited charge on that. Three at the moment. <coughs> well, uh, the animations look too smooth. Like, what it feels like, like there must be an animated series of this or something. It definitely looks like there would be, or it definitely has the feel of one. Yes, and, I'm not as far as it's intended to feel like it. And it, it actually reminds me a lot of Way Forward. Speaking of, they're they're working on a remake or remaster or whatever of the first Chante game. And well, seeing as we've basically streamed every other game uh, of that series, when that releases, it's going on the list. But but a complete remaster? As in, it, look, it plays the same, but it looks better or something? Uh, or it was just ports? No, it, 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 it is a complete rework, I believe. I will have to check it out on it, but it should be a lot easier to play. Because the only reason I originally skipped the first Shantae was because it was from the original Game Boy. So, black and white and everything. So I'm curious to see what they'll do with a, well, a modernized version. Right. I wasn't sure if I, I think it was a Game Boy Color. What was that advanced? Oh, game, I, advanced was game. where the second and third game were, I believe. Or actually, no, yeah. the third game was from the 3DS. Yeah, like I said, Game Boy, hmm. yes. Just unsure sure if it was Game Boy Color or Advance. I know I did look this up long ago. Yeah, I, actually, yeah, I, I think it was on the... I think each Shantae game came up at about the end of the life cycle of one of the handheld consoles. And the first was on the Game Boy Color, yeah. 
Okay, yeah, that's my bad on that, my bad on that, but still, Game Boy Color is very old tech, so I don't think it would have been too interesting for most of it, seeing as, well, just how small of a screen that is. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, not to say that all Game Boy Color games were bad and such, but I think they just would not have been anywhere near as interesting to stream. Yep. <clears throat> when there's, well, going to be a better version available now. Yeah. Anyways. Weathered Logbook, Anno Domini uh, 1522, June 5th. That, that's actually what AD stands for with years. Hmm. <clears throat> I do believe. A terrible storm has left our fleet in shambles. Only two vessels remain, both beached on this strange island. In all my life, I have never seen a place so grotesque and unfriendly, with strange plants and abominable creatures crawling underneath. Surprisingly, there are people here. These uncivilized savages don't speak our language and lack common courtesy, but seem harmless enough. We will claim this island, repair our ships, and return to Spain, so help us gods. Well, I guess God didn't feel like helping, seeing as you are still here. Okay. There. And I return again? Oh, yes, I, I just went to grab my food while you were reading. Okay. Ow. Okay, nice that it just pops us back. Oh. Instead of just getting us stuck there, taking damage constantly. I see it taking us reading something again? Uh, th that was there for a bit, unless there is something that's not showing for me or something. Uh, Lord, it just feels wrong for me. Yeah, that w that's something they had already put down. All right, I'm gonna probably miss that then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I will probably like, give them. I will probably be used to have the jump button on the the X or in one of the maybe the other trigger button. But it will depend on the game. Okay, can't break that. Hold up. That bush ain't right. Ah, a local. Sorry, pal. I come in peace. Do I? Immediately points a gun at him. Jeff Jefferson, blast agent. Here to take down the creep who took over your slice of paradise. Fellow by the name of, uh, hold on. I got this. He's, uh, Dr. Uh, Cream. That ring a bell? You literally read his name like a bit back and you've already forgotten it. Right, right. So I'm gonna call that a yes. Creed. Creed, yeah, that's him. And he's that way? <laughs> I knew I could sniff him out. Stay safe, pal. Find a way into Creed's lair. Let's see. Okay. Alone behind enemy lines, Jeff goes into the jungle to rescue his teammates from the lair of nefarious Dr. Creed's. Okay. I'm, I'm liking this map. It, okay, it's, it's, it, it already shows us stuff that uh, we've, well, we can't get to yet. Let's see. Okay, that was a noise that someone made outside. Not sure if that was audible on the mic, but it sounded... <laughs> that sounded like someone making... That, that, someone sounded like a goat there for a second. Hmm. A uh, goat! Freed Legion uh, internal notes. Relocation. To those henchmen tasked with relocating the local population to the Screaming Cliffs facility, do not make the Overseer angry. In fact, try not to be seen by her at all. Deliver the captives and make yourself sparse. Make yourself sparse. That's that's an unusual. I mean, typically, it's make yourself scarce. Hmm. Captives will be handled by facility personnel and put to work in the volcano backyard for the glory of their new overlord and our brilliant commander, Dr. Creed. Also, to those who keep talking about bushes in the village behaving strangely, you are the ones who are behaving strangely. Stop staring at bushes, you weirdos. <laughs> You're not Moses. You're not going to be talking with a burning bush. Oh dear. And also, I I do like that that phrase. What? Just um, a phrase that rarely used compared to the other one. Yeah. 
Bait him, silly dark here. <laughs> okay, let's see what horrors await us over here. What did you just call me? Uh, silly dark here for... <laughs> <laughs> for missing the bit of text that Tatum put up earlier. Okay, nothing to interact with there, but it looks that looks like there is just a lever missing. <clears throat> Wanted, local villager. Name, Uku. Back, uh, occupation, fisherman, background, native, not very bright, very cowardly. Wanted for something, no reason, I guess. Annoying, not dangerous at all. Apprehend however you like. I should warn hmm? people, I am armed with an axe. Okay. Hmm. We could we could maybe make that a helmet and the axe a more permanent thing. <laughs> Let's see. I think it is to about a bit ahead that we went with the showcase before we called it a, a quits on that. Yeah, I think we are, I think we are about uh, that part. But as for the helmet, right? I would consider myself having a hammer axe, uh, you know, a sledgehammer axe hybrid thing. Yeah. With an actual tool. I'm sure if that does end with any uh, combat weapon of it, so it feels like this should have been. Helmet? Uh, I do like it, but it does also feel weird uh, to have it when we no longer stream uh, Lord of the Ring games. Okay, we can keep it for Lord of the Rings. We'll see about. A new weapon. Ow. Yeah. At least it, I guess it, this is the combat that does definitely inspire us to, uh, for me to have a new look again. Ow. And yeah, I think you, I think it's visible now uh, why I would want. Uh, oops, why I would want. Uh, come on, heal up. Okay, never mind. Why I would want to be able to jump, aim, and shoot all at once. Because, yeah, there's going to be just <laughs> arenas like that where I will have to be moving a lot. I can't tell if they just spawn in over time or if they just spawn in whenever I kill another one of them. Just to make sure that it's in the log. Okay. Okay, we lost all of our coins, I guess. But I'm going to guess that we can pick those back up. Or no, we didn't lose all of them, but we did lose a good amount of them. Hmm. We'll see if we can pick those back up. Maybe that adds a bit of Dark Souls to this game. Similar to the, well, totally not as this <laughs> flask. That is Jeff's booze bottle. Is it totally is, of course. <laughs> Maybe how again it's similar mechanics like nefarious. Um I forget. I don't remember if yeah, we did lose some coins there, but we could pick them up afterwards, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we yeah. can pick them back up. Of course. Yeah, that's all of them, I think. I didn't keep a specific eye on that. Okay. I do feel like that's a good mechanic that you can give a player a chance to retrieve the points. Yeah. Okay. It looks like they come in certain waves. So still a good idea to get rid of them quickly. Oop. And there we... <laughs> There we go, almost untouched, and then Jeff just gets shot in the dick with a laser. Thank you for making me think of James Bond. <laughs> what, with the the laser bisection uh, uh, scene? Yeah. I get it. That is just an utterly iconic scene now. Yeah, uh, good very much yeah, reminder of it when I watched the uh, a wolf in VR play some uh, I expect you to die. I've actually been yep, apple in the face. I've actually been see, uh, watching quite a few of his videos recently. Like the last one he did was a uh, Silent Slayer. 
Rib which is basically a sort of I I want you to die or something, but instead it's uh, like more vampires. Oh, I don't need to watch that then. But yeah, I, I occasionally watch them for that. They are quite funny. I guess you can see that they have quite a charm to them. Yeah, they do, they don't overdo things like a lot of creators do. <clears throat> Yeah, because I feel like he's good. Like, for example, he has done loot use at time, but even then he tries not to overdo it either. He keeps still keeping the mild and amusing, and know when to stop. Yeah, because there's just a lot of content creators on YouTube and such who are basically just being allowed to, well, basically be like jangling keys for kids and such. Yeah, like, some players are naturally allowed when it makes sense, like, Jacksepticeye, I think, was more accepted, for he was allowed naturally, he was not forced. Yeah. But he has calmed down a bit over the years as they have gotten older, and maybe they don't have as much energy anymore. Yeah, it's, it's also many... very obvious when someone is forcing it. Yeah, but they're forcing it and they'll be... Very cartoonishly overhyping, but it feels rather try hardish. Yeah. But if there's I one thing I can't stand on YouTube and such is just a try hard content creator. Yeah, I think I actually explained to an, uh, a person long ago that not all YouTubers are screaming, are screamers and all that. Yeah. Actually, I think a better word might be, if I can't send anything on YouTube, it's like people who are disingenuous with stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, and I think we're in new territory now. Freak News issue 36 means this is Dr. Freed with an important announcement. The pizza was delicious. Also, the giant jellyfish is dead. This unique and extremely rare sea creature was bar barbarically just slaughtered by a deranged blast agent named Jeff Jefferson, but a vulgar and redundant name. If any of you happen to see this tactless ruffian, please feel free to show him our renowned hospitality. And by that I mean kill him, and by kill him I mean make the bastard suffer a terrible nightmare of crushing boundless agony. Oh, also, there will be a baking contest on Friday, so stop by the fortress if you're interested. Great out. <laughs> Okay, I hope I hope Creed just continues to prove to be this entertaining. And are you still sure that they are robots? All of them? Yeah, he could just be chat maybe not all of them. Maybe they could just be cyborgs. But we'll have to see. They are too armored up to really tell. Oop. Well they already in clothes, which is the like if they were robots, why give them clothes? Mm, it, it's more uniforms than clothes, I'd say. Yeah, but we, yep. but it's, it's still this thing that would you really give a robot a uniform like that? Well, evil geniuses always need to put their <laughs> their minions in uniforms. How else are you going to tell them apart from the other <laughs> evil geniuses' minions? Well, but they're the robots. You should give them a paint job. <laughs> but that would cost paint. A uniform. Hello. And of course, accessories and upgrades and all that. Okay, we're going to get a grappling hook up some sort it seems. Sealed wheel. Okay. Your classic crumbling platforms. What? Are those just extra ammo that those uh, ammo box drops? Like it refills part of the clip or something, or magazine is the actual more accurate term. Oh, hello. What's this? Bullet Dodger. Doubles in vulnerability period after taking damage. To customize your PDA, kick back in a hammock. Okay. Alright, and ammo what you put inside the magazine? Yep. So yeah, yeah, basically ammo... what I mean is, does it reload parts of... Uh, well, the magazine that we're already using without having to reload. Oh, good question. 
I guess we'll see next time we find one of those. Okay, don't touch those things either. And we can't progress from here because we don't have a double, uh, we don't have a wall jump or anything like that. Uh, you okay. say that after you impale your skull on some. Oh dear, oh dear. What are we to do with you, Captain? Yeah, uh, plenty, but hopefully not too much. I did not expect that answer, so I'm a bit stunned there. <laughs> And yeah, that's the entire purpose behind it. it out. Did that just... Did that thing just fart when he died? I'm not sure. Okay. How far are we? Okay, we're getting close. Let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to take a bit of a guess as to what the difference is between a grayed out area and a greened out. Hmm. I'm guessing with the green ones, it's no, it's it's not every passage has been taken. So there must be something else. Hmm. Or is it just to denote? No, it's, it it's not to denote different regions. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Boomstick. Remington shotgun with a walnut stock, cobalt blue, uh, steel barrel, and a hair trigger. Okay. Oh, we can swap. Okay, we can swap between guns with B. And I failed to see if that actually reloaded or not. Let's see, does it? No. Ow. Hmm. Oh, big one. Hmm. Oop. Sidearm shuffle acquire support weapon. <laughs> and you missing a coin. Horrible parrot. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. Okay, I, I thought these would I thought these would break after a certain amount of time, but no. I'm, I'm way too used to some uh, of those tropes, and yep, I thought so. Of just the yeah, platforms that break away underneath you. Yeah, maybe they skipped them in this game since people I have seen uh, tend to usually be rather annoyed by it. And it could also just show up later. We'll have yeah. to see. I do feel like many people don't like them for that. Like, has been how people have done that concept well. But also, times where they just done it so horrible, it's just pure bullshit. Uh, just this one last mission, Santiago, they said. Retirement can wait, they said. I am such an idiot. I knew this was going to happen. Talking to yourself? That you, Jefferson? Well, well, Santiago de Armas. They should teach your infiltration methods at the academy. Stop mouthing off and help me down. This is all your fault, isn't it? It always is. Oh, well, for once, uh, not, I think. I mean, I don't think so. I think Dr. Creed gets the points for this one. Glad to see you're in one piece. Couldn't do this without you. Yeah, yeah, it's wonderful to be appreciated. Cut me down already. Okay. Ah! Yeah, I'm too old for field work. I could support you remotely through your PDA. Yeah, it actually kind of broke my fall. Again, you got any idea how much these things cost, Jefferson? Take mine. It's an upgraded model. Not that you deserve it. See what I mean? I need my trusty engineer guy. How else am I going to get the latest and greatest tech? Oh, and hello in chat, random Marco. Let's see. Ammo boxes refill ammo for your support weapon. Road. <laughs> Drax swearing. Now that is a sight to behold. Okay, I was yeah, trying I to. I, I still, yeah, go ahead. Go on. Go on. <laughs> I. I, I I was starting to get a feeling that the ammo boxes were for the support weapon, seeing as it wasn't reloading on its own. 
Oh dear. But yeah, I say I have used some spell before, but I rarely do them, and I again I do use it at someone. <laughs> and I, I, let's say everybody agree, bullshit is extremely common and kind of mild compared to what other people can say nowadays. Yeah. <clears throat> From what I saw on my way down, that village is our best bet for a base. I'll set up shop down there. Come see me so we can talk real upgrades, Caron, for you and the locals. Blast Ooh, issued right. PDA. Super secret watch shaped device. Blast issue. Find a comfortable hammock to customize your PDA. Yep, and the PDA battery. This battery can be used to charge a PDA module. To activate the module, insert the battery in the corresponding circuit and select the module. Okay, so we can have perks that we can turn on and off. Magnet. Pulls nearby loot to you. Okay. Help the armors rebuild the seaside village. Okay, which is all the way back there. Uh, basic fortification. Thinking of establishing a temporary base in the seaside village, the armors asked Jeff to help him improve and fortify it. Okay. Are we going to... Wait, can we already fast travel, perhaps? Uh, let's see. BA items. Okay. I, I think I should have something. I think I started to use the term bullshit move thanks to a certain YouTuber. Oh. <laughs> it looks like we're getting a decent amount of weapons. Okay, and plenty of these to toy around with. That's reminding me a bit of uh, Ori. I think I actually named Ori as one of the inspirations for this game. Uh, no fast travel yet, yeah. A bit early for that. Okay, let's see. A double invulnerability. And insert battery... Uh, where do, do I need to put the battery on something specific? We have one. Or does it just mean that we can only activate one? Insert Wait, hold P on. Hold on. Is this an arm oh. thing? Okay, yeah. It's basically like a watch. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Wait. Jeff? How the heck did one of these break your fall? Fuel Ops 101, activate a PDA module. And we can only activate one of these each. Okay, that'll keep things interesting. All right. And it could just be that he kept it in his, you know, <laughs> his ass pocket and landed on that. Uh, you mean a ba the back pocket? Yep. <laughs> no, with an ass like Jeff, I'd call it an ass pocket. <laughs> Hello. Also, I think I also I, I should realize, I probably also start because sort of couple couple do so much spells things to another person. Hey. I, I'll give you a clue. They're next to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have fast travel and a fuel station. Let's see. <laughs> okay, welcome to fast travel. Hello again. Random gibberish that we can't understand. No, he he, that was, that was. Uh, but people usually replace swearing with censoring. Yeah, I, I assume he probably be pretty pissy with uh, Jeff for just running off despite him warning him, even though he couldn't understand a thing he said. And the late you know, Everson, let's upgrade this brace pronto. Do you really have to kick everything? <laughs> hmm. Oh dear. <laughs> Blast Field Requisitions Office. An improved workshop of Santiago de Armas, veteran Blast engineer and inventor famous for his unorthodox solutions and foul personality. Yes. Yep. Roughing it. Construct the village upgrades. Okay, the next one here. Regener Aid Juicer. This quaint nanofluid liquidizer envisioned by Santiago de Armas uses mysterious sentinel, um, sentinel's flowers to enhance healing properties of the blast issued cure flask. Okay, but we need three for that. Okay. So that would basically make it heal more, 
I presume, or f store another charge. Let me see. An upgrade, improve to the term. I don't have access to the idiots. <clears throat> the combustion cowboy returns. Behold, all that I could salvage from the jet crash. Combustion cowboy, that's a new one. I also found some bags of peanuts, but those birds ate them. <laughs> you shouldn't feed the wildlife around here, the armors. Take it from me. The only thing I'll take from you is your money, Jefferson. You're gonna charge me for equipment? <laughs> what gives? Spies don't pay to save the world. Requisitions revoked your access. Blast is seeing a pattern between your mere presence and the catastrophic loss of agency chests. It's free this month alone. <laughs> they crunch the numbers. Your mere presence on a mission is enough to, for cost to spot skyrocket. Why send them in the first place then? Oh, come on, so I play a little rough. So what? I get results. Well, we've lost three blast jets this month at, alone. And you were on every single one of those. Those kinds of results they could do without. This is ridiculous. Maybe. But you gotta pay to play, Cabron. Okay. Bigger clip size for support. Fire rate of all guns by 20%. Okay. Collect four pieces to recreate a health cell. Okay, we it's just a part of one. Part of an energy cell. Okay, let's get the big one. The rifleman. Okay. Oh dear. Uh, power flow omni compressor. This improvised contraption, uh, designed and built by Santiago de Armas, converts mysterious ruin crystals into additional batteries for the blast issued PDA. Okay. Now, let's see. Where does this? Okay, that goes there. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, li I like that. <clears throat> I like that you can select any of these, but not combine them too much, because there's probably some things later down here that would be really powerful. Let's use this one for the moment. No need for a magnet just yet. Okay. And I'm presuming when we get more weapons available, we'll be able to switch them around at the hammocks as well. Yep. Okay, let's move on. Uh, da -da -da. Random Marco, he asked to. Jeff likes action. <laughs> okay. Starsmen also don't get stuff. <laughs> that also don't get tacos. Yeah, are oh, you sure? I think we have to confirm it there. They are not robots. They are probably humans or cybernetic humans. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep it on robots for the moment. Um, unless something, unless it's specifically shown or something. But yeah, cyborgs could also be made hungry. Yeah. We'll, we'll see if the game puts any more info on it, or maybe I'm just being stubborn. <laughs> yeah, for, I think you can confuse with the... Uh, the sound that they speak through the mask. Let's see, they are grunts. Okay, so they are... They are at least mostly human. Ooh, almost jumped into that. Okay. Creed Legion internal notes, lockdown. Access to the lower region of the toxic ducts is, as of now, forbidden to any personnel below rank of lieutenants. Do not go deeper. Threat level of the lower region has been elevated to extremely dangerous. Turn back. Okay. So, guess we don't want to hang around here for too long. Yeah, so, so something's looking at a warning sign of something strange. 
Yeah, something swimming in the stuff or something. Yeah. Hmm. I, hmm. I was only meant to identify what. Uh, hello. Inch maniacs. Uh, hello there. Lork. Sorry? Lark, welcome, weary traveler. This eye is Sewer Emperor, Terror of the Depths, Hermit of the Toxic Race, the Great Hens Maniac. Right. So you've got this crazed look in your eyes that makes me think I should go. Such insolence. Have you no reason, Scallion? You are my hallucination, so I'll decide when you come and go. <laughs> Easy, buddy. I ain't no hallucination. Hallucination. I'm the real deal, American made. Yeah, 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 I'm not a hallucination. I'm totally real. Cthulhu Walker <laughs> not whatever. Kill them all. All you apparitions say the same things. Now listen, I'm really real. Oh, he's getting angry now. <laughs> Prove it. Let me flex my arm and you can feel the bulk. Hey, even hallucinations can use steroids. Tell you what, apparition. Long, long ago, a squad of brave Crete soldiers were sent into the toxic ducks on a special mission. But they were betrayed. They died to heroes, but died all the same. Bring me these heroes' helmets, and I'll reward you beyond your imagination. Blarg. Okay, Headhunters Part 1. What's this? That's a big old bot behind you, eh? Blarg, a robot? Behind me? Easy, Tiger. I thought he was with you. Ah, that robot. Nay, he was here long before me. What's he doing all the way down here? You are far more inquisitive than my other hallucinations. Be gone, Blark. Okay. Hmm. Curious? And that's all about what we can do right here at the moment, because the control to open this is on the other side. Yeah, that looks like some sort of... Oh, wait, I, I thought it was one creature, but no, it's supposed to be, like... <laughs> a ghost figure or something with a shark fin behind it. Yeah, it's like some kind of creature. Okay, either way, the message is the same. No swimming. You say that oh, you're dropping a coin into the water. I'm not sure if we can swim in that either. It doesn't look shallow. Yeah. <laughs> and so definitely can't swim in this. There we go. I can't tell if my aim is just good or if there's a bit of auto aim. Hmm. Don't yeah, think we can get through that. Water. We need a dash or something. Well, it's polluted. That's what's wrong with it. Can't destroy those things, or at least not with normal gunfire. Oop, oop. Almost snuck up on me. And another one of these. Controlled breathing. Gain one energy charge each time health is lost. Okay. That could be useful in boss fights, I guess. Just get another blast of the grenade launcher. Oop. And I should have looked down first. That was dumb of me. Now we actually want tacos. Damn it! Now I want as well! Uh, maybe they finally sell those things in better packaging for the... This one of small packaging probably is... They have a rim that takes up so much space. And I've only not known to occasionally, if you, when it was uh, common to buy plastic bags, to just, you buy a plastic bag, you put your, your wares, and the damn mean meat box flies through the plastic bag while you carry it. Well, up. <clears throat> yep, let's finish that. I do like that you need to hold it for a bit. Okay, so yeah, it heals two hearts at a time. Yeah, I like that 
it does take a bit to use it, so you can't just lean on it uh, like a crutch. Come on over. There we go. Yeah, the one problem I have with tacos typically is that no matter what you freaking do, or no matter what I freaking do, it just always ends up breaking down the middle. What? Yeah. Like it, it'll just split open into two uh, halves. That I have heard and read that with you need to heat the middle somehow, or you make need to heat them to where they go soft or something. But yeah, with the recommended times that they're told to be heated, I've never really have them go soft, I think. So maybe, I, maybe I've just been buying bad quality taco shells. Oh, <laughs> okay, taco shells. Were you just picturing just a full taco somehow breaking down the middle? I was wondering, is he unaware that what means meat is? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> so, okay. I don't eat tacos in soft taco shells. Uh, in taco shells. I eat tortillas. Yeah, it is a lot easier to just put a wrap around it. Even if it is, even if it can be a bit of a nuisance to uh, wrap those closed. Because even with that, it just tends to leak out at the bottom with me. Yeah, that happens to everyone. But I feel like it, the crunchy ones are worse in that sense. It will leak and. Drop everything. I think one thing, one thing to, that has been advised with is just put a bit of cheese at the bottom and then heat it until that melts or something. Maybe that would keep it somewhere together like a glue, and we need a dash to get past that without getting hurt. I may, I will say that be probably with the penalty cheese. So the, some of the cheesy fat mm. will be absorbed by it probably. But the penalty cheese, you may also be also having more leakage. From the cheese itself. <laughs> Let's see, Marco. The gameplay is more Hollow Knight and Ori inspired, while the story is just for shits and giggles. Yeah. Probably why we went for this. Okay, that's we. That's in the upper one. Oh, but I have asked about this for a while, and I recommended another game today, but then he not recommend this one this time. I guess he was actually moved for this one. I should know. It, in part, it reminds me a bit of No One Lives Forever, but it takes itself just a bit more serious than that game at times. Which is not too much to begin with. It, wait, you, you compare this to a James Bond game? It, no One Lives... It, it's the same spy style, but this is more modern spying. Also, this looks like a boss. Yep. Um... <laughs> Jeff just... I can't tell if he's scared or jealous. Oh, that's the siege spot they talked about. Yep. Okay, that's a and moment to get underneath it. I'm gonna get a bit of uh, meta gear from this one. <laughs> a bit. Okay. Like, I have seen villains of this era having legged robot minions and all that, but this one feels a bit more competently made. Use those well be out, can. Yes, man, I need to see if I can find a video, but I've seen a video though that talks about. I think I thought about it actually had been an attempt to make walking tanks. Seems again, like... again, attempt. Yeah. I thought the, I thought we were getting more ammo for the sub weapon, but no, it was just coming from the total amount that we have. Oops, give me that. And I'll give you this. Good. This thing can hold four shots at a time. Ooh. Ah. Is 
thank you. Yeah. Oh, oh, damn it, I thought it was going for a bigger jump. Okay, we know that we know its pattern now though. Okay. I actually managed to <laughs> almost beat it on the first time. Uh, let's see, I spammed a grenade and shotgun on this boss. <laughs> there. Okay, going in with one less health, but oh well. I mean, it is. They were really rude about Jeff's name. Like, wasted that as well. Okay, redundant maybe, but what did it say? You vulgar perverse or something? No, vulgar, I think, was the word used. Yeah, the, the, the vulgar part of it was a little bit harsh. Okay, I can't really identify when it's trying to do a big jump and when a, a small jump. I'll take those. You can get them right back. When it, when it opens that little back uh, uh, latch, it's going to launch the missiles. When it does that, we move forwards. Yeah. After that, we move back because it's going to do that little jump. Ow. Bring. Okay. Boss is simple enough, but still, still a good little challenge. Okay, that, <laughs> they put in more effort in that explosion than they really needed. Uh, now that's what I call going out with a bang. That key card better unlock your video storage bank because that fight was perfect highlight reel material. <laughs> I don't think that's left. Eh? Hey, back off, stranger. I killed the death robot, I get the key card. Them's the rules. Yeah, who are you? Yep. <laughs> Whoa, hey! Them's the rules, I said! You get your ass back here right now! That's my key card! Damn it. Okay, I know I should be angry, but that grapple was sweet! Still, you're gonna regret messing with me, lady! I guess we know who our next boss is. <laughs> Rock'em, Sock'em, Overcome, CHM7 Siege Bot. Yeah, he actually turned red for a moment there. What have we here? Blast Accelerator Belt. Allows you to perform a lightning fast horizontal dash. Just what we needed. Now, how do we use it? Okay, A. Okay. Yeah, the, the game is pretty good with its tutorials as well. There we go. Let's see, where are we? Okay, new territory still. Okay, there, and there, and there. Let's see. Okay, for a dashing enemy, those are pretty slow still. Okay. Uh, that's our way out, so let's continue this way first. There. Okay. Yoink. So how many... How many parts did this jet crash into? Because I'm pretty sure you've seen like five uh, turbines now or something. I think it was... I feel like they talked about there was more than one jet being shot down. 
Yeah, only... Hmm. There's three jets where Jeff was present, so I very much doubt they sent him out to this place three times, only for him to come crawling back two times. Yeah. There. Are they talking about that, uh, that uh, all the crew and such were dead? But it looked like there were only really three people on the damn thing to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Look, there. Yeah, this place is just it's, uh, acting as an extended tutorial for this new ability. See? There. Always nice to give you some time to get familiar with it. Yep. Is that a mosquito? Yes, it is. Yeah. There. Okay. This way back to the save points. And it looks like this. Looks like some area of this is going to be sealed off. Because there's a, <laughs> a lever behind a door. So we'll have to get behind that. Okay, there's another entrance. There we go. Okay. So it's just a shortcut. Let's first do that. Uh, what have we here? Huh, even I know that displaying native populations is just a really bad... Uh, uh, even I know that displacing native populations is just a real bad idea. I guess that's another lesson I'll have to teach Dr. Creed. I'll add it to his course schedule between how to not be a terrible jerk what a one and basic fashion sense for the complete buffoons. <laughs> Come on. Let's see. Marco, the entire Act 1 feels like a tutorial. Mm. Yep, ow. Might as well use that up. I wonder how long there is a, a charge between a, a cooldown there is between dashes. Now. Okay, a few seconds at least. Also, what is this? Yeah, uh, you grabbed it, whatever it was. Okay, looks like those need to be activated in time with each other, and we need another ability to get through there. I wonder, is Jeff the only playable character? I think they probably are. Oh, okay, we just need to get behind those to destroy them. This is Jeff gets shot in the back by don't one of those. There we go. Okay. I do like that those challenge areas, that they have multiple layers. So that you can't, if you find them, well, when you find them, you can already go through a part of them. But you can come back later to get another reward after you've gotten more abilities and such. What's up here? I probably shouldn't explore too much. Seeing as, well, we need to put down a save. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, we have been here before. This area isn't lit up green yet. Still not too sure what that means. Okay. He's just really happy to whenever he gets to one of these, huh? <laughs> okay. I, I presume the game wouldn't be so mean as to just completely set us back. If we lose after a boss fight, but before we can get to a save point, I'm presuming oh, it, it's basic courtesy with gaming nowadays, mostly, to have to put down a save of some sort after a boss fight. 
Yeah. It's still better to be certain than uh, find out the hard way. Mm. Okay, now the place is green. Does it basically mean that we've gotten all the collectibles or something in an area? Sure. Okay. We can learn as we continue on with things. Uh... There. I want that. And I do not want that thing to get near. Okay. Hmm. What else are we going to find around here? Oop. Thank you. Okay, another hammock, another sealed up area. We're probably going to go... Yep, we can go up and over to the other side and... Hello. This island sure has a lot of ancient statues. Like this warrior lady. Now that's an ass kicker. Maybe I should stop using my grenade launcher near priceless <laughs> cultural artifacts. Or maybe those priceless cultural artifacts should stop being near my grenade launcher. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff. Okay. Oh dear. There we go. Really? Yep. Uh, okay, that was dumb of me. Well, it's just this belief that you have to make sure it was real. Maybe. That. Okay. Bye bye, Grunty McGruntinson. Really? Okay, let's see. Oh, the shield guys. Oh! Ow. Yeah, they look tanky. Hmm. Okay, I saw a, a ring of the wall that was blinging. Yeah. That shines, I guess, another ability for later? Yeah, grapple, which is probably what we're going to get next after we track down the, the key card fleet. This up. Okay. Hmm. Yep, what, oh, what have we here? Wanted. Unknown. Name unknown. Occupation KGB assassin. Background expert marksman. Infiltration specialist gymnast. Wanted for killings, more killings, even more killings. Extremely dangerous apprehend dead or alive. I think I have a clue as to who uh, our key car thief might be. Yeah. Mm. I guess See another find... agency? Yep, but it specifically said KGB, so. <laughs> hmm. Does that ring a bell or something? No, but, well, KGB. <laughs> As in the agency KGB. There they kept them there. there. Don't strain a muscle now. Crystal. A strange crystal brimming with mysterious energy, often found near the ancient ruins that litter the island. Okay. Hmm. Oop. Should have seen that coming. So these little ones, there's little, the, the round boss give me a bit of a, a Powerpuff Girls vibe for some reason. There we go. And, yeah, 
I'm pretty sure there is hasn't been uh, like a flying orb in like any uh, <clears throat> like in every single spy movie ever where they have like robots and such. <clears throat> Oop, let's not fall into that. Oop. Okay, I wanted to aim that down. Oop. I did not expect to actually hit one with that. I think there are exceptions, but depending on how far back you go, I think I've seen some that were basically just... Uh, old style camera with a gun with a propeller or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We need a grapple to get past that point, so up we go. Hmm. Ah, damn it. Overestimated my ability for a sec. So they really like just blue around here, it seems. Okay. Okay, I don't think we want to go that way because there's just a green cloud of something. Um. Yeah. Hello? Let's head back here since we've got a bunch more of those upgrade kits. Okay, first thing I'll want to go upgrades is let's see, was it this one? Uh, no, not that one. This one, yeah. Let's build that. Okay, that's a second use for your blast is your pure flask. Okay. We need a sort of flower for that. Okay. Anything right. we can afford in here? I think they talk about that. Jungle style clips. Yeah. Okay, nothing we can afford. We're just two coins short on that. Dead air. Okay. I'm going to presume there's going to be more between here and the point and the shops and such. Okay, let's okay. go there. And, well, continue on. Adventure! Okay, I thought maybe we could pass behind that. You mean a fat roof? Not without breaking it. What? What? Stop! Uh, right! Uh. There! Uh, let's just uh, take a moment and, and talk this through. First, toss me that key card. That's mine. Or you'll do what, Blast Agent? Where do we get the feeling her name's Natasha? It's in the name, Red. All right. Why don't you try it? Have it your way. The strange ninja lady. Ow. Yeah, that... They, they, you, you, you missed the quest they're talking about her, didn't you? You. you. Okay, that, that... That one is... Oh, I, I need to use the... You. Ah. Oh, so this is a very funky music for this. Yeah, we need to use the... Oops. We need to use the dash to dodge her when she... Oops. Okay, don't see how to dodge that. Or effectively dodge that, at least. Hmm. Dead Can we dance dead. through those attacks, maybe? Hmm. There we go. Don't forget the coin! 
I'm driving the Wait. bigger bag first. Wait, oh, did I put it outside? Okay, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I think they've seen enough where uh, you lose a lot of coins just because the bag was stuck inside an extremely hard boss. And it instantly kills you when you try to grab it. I think even Dark Souls is better with that. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it was Dark Souls that, that had that issue for a while. Until it would be monster or something. Yeah. Oh, really? That just deals damage when she lands? Damn it. Okay, yeah, definitely going to need a few tries for this. Just in time. She doesn't bring those up the walls. Oop. Okay, yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't fully go to uh, to the walls with those shots. If you were to bring those shots up the walls, then yeah, that would yeah, that would be uh, that would be undodgeable, basically. Ooh, that was close. Almost. Damn it! Come on! <laughs> okay, like, at least I know her tricks now. Yeah, you were like one shot away or something? Yeah, very one close at the absolute least. Okay. This time we're not going to waste resources. Pick those up again. Okay. Come on. I guess when I say how much damage you do, I guess you were like indeed two free shots away. Okay. Okay, that was a dumb move. First priority, survive. Second priority, hit her. We can't hit her if we're not alive. Here we go with the Russian disco ball again. Uh, uh, yeah, this good thing is I uh, don't know how to fix that. And hello, God of Pizza, welcome! Hey, Pizza. Uh, I'll read in a bit, because I'm a bit busy dodging sniper fire. I can read it out. Yep, From God of Pizza. For some reason, it says you are playing Titanfall on your stream announcement section on your Discord. Confuse me a... Me, confuse... Yeah, yeah, that's the, the, out of me when it's when I first saw that. Yeah. Also, hello, uh, that, how are you? Uh, that's because we finished Titanfall early, Pizza. Huh? Okay, now hand it over, Natasha. Don't even think about it, hot stuff. 
<laughs> Get it? Hot stuff? Cause you're on fire! Not the time, Jeff. You and me, we're not done. What? Yeah? Kinda feels like we might be. <laughs> Shiny key card. Meet cute. What? <laughs> oh, meet. If that's not her name, that's just a something that's describes her meet cutes or something. But yeah, but even that didn't give her name. A shiny key card that can, presumably, allow one access to Creed's Fortress. <laughs> okay, no grapple yet. Let's see, pizza, da, 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 for some reason. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, also, hello, how are you? Doing pretty well. Getting annoyingly hungry <laughs> at the moment. Oh, uh, no. I don't want to no, end it quickly. I see now what... The word I got hung up on was an acronym, TF. <laughs> I was wondering why they, they write if there. This confused me the heck out of me. <laughs> uh, yeah, TF the fuck that stands for. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, we finished. We <laughs> we were done with Titanfall 2 uh, within the first hour. So well, we decided to pick up another game instead of just ending it right there. Yep. And then you said something about about getting hungry. Yeah. So I don't want to end the stream just yet. It just means I'll just have to go get something to snack after stream. Oh, hello. There we go. This big ass security camera right next to it. Creed's Fortress. Yeah, this is very. 70s, modernized 70s style to me, if you ask me. The feats of Dr. Creed, statue of Dr. Creed. From early childhood, Kelvin Cornelius Creed, a pseudonym Fang adopted to hide his true identity, was well accustomed to the feelings of profound alienation by his peers, brought about by his supreme intelligence. After spending years unsuccessfully trying to lower his mental cognition to match that of other human beings, Fang came to realize that there were... <clears throat> that there was nothing wrong with just being his supreme self, even if that self was an audacious reformist with extreme grandiose ambition. So is that supposed to be one of the masks of his henchmen up there? Perhaps. <clears throat> and also, how you been, Pizza? Let's see, Pizza... Well, good to hear everything has been going good with you guys. Okay. Uh, really? Pipe, hat, hook. What is this? The feats of Dr. Creed, submarine model. Fang Zheng Shan's great uh, grandfather was a genius uh, <clears throat> scientist with, uh, and a gentleman of noble blood. In the early 19th century, he devoted his genius toward turning the. Ooh, where did the sound go? Uh, test one, two. I can hear you. Okay. Why did the sound of the game just cut out? Hmm. Uh, Towarding the, the tide of a great war, but ultimately found himself on the losing side. Refusing to accept death, he went into exile, board a grand, well-armed submarine of his own creation, only reappearing to devastate his unsuspecting enemies. By the time Fang was born, his great-grandfather's list of enemies covered the globe. Fang was nurtured by such devastating ambition. Did the... Okay, the game got unselected. That's what happened. Oh. Still no clue what just... Causes that. Okay. Uh, pizza, I myself just woke up and uh, just going to be watching a walkthrough of an area in Dark Souls 3 since I'm kind of stuck and actually been enjoying that game a whole lot. It's genuine fun. Okay. <laughs> Good to hear that. The, the robot model. It wasn't long before Calvin, now known as Dr. Creed, forced his evil legion and established himself as one of the most villainous members of the infamous supervillain organization known as the Deviant League. <clears throat> After a short series of noble but ultimately failed attempts at achieving world domination, Freed grew weary of petty human squabbles and secluded himself on a remote island where he could pursue his, <clears throat> his passion of building giant robots of death. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh dear. Yeah, the last of my water gone now. 
Really, it's just a trophy he made to himself, probably. <clears throat> oh, it's Jeff's out of ideas. <laughs> Did you really think it would be that easy? You must not have realized you were dealing with me, the ingenious doctor! Dr. Sneed, right? Creed! It's Creed, okay? <laughs> Kelvin Cornelius Creed! All right, stay calm, Cornelius. Just stick to the script. Don't let this brute get the best of uh, you. Hey, sorry to interrupt your inner monologue, but do you maybe want to skip to the part where you tell me about your evil plan? Well, huh. mm, why not? <laughs> Behold my genius plan! You slobbering simpleton. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, next slide, next slide. First step, build a giant death robot. Next step, conquer the world. So I can accomplish the final step of my ingenious plan. Eat a donut. <laughs> <laughs> well, your plan seems a little basic. Says so the basic, basic idea of basic one. Basic guards, throw this imbecile into a cell. Huh? <laughs> basic. <laughs> well, maybe just a little bit. Mm, 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 hot dogs. Jefferson, wake up. Huh? What? What? Where? Oh, God, my head. Oh, oh, I think there's a little dude inside my head playing the bongos with broken bottles. Oh. Oh, where the hell did Creed dump me? And how fast can I escape it? Fast, I'm hoping. You're the newest exhibit in Creed's private zoo of blast agents. I'm glad to get the company, I guess. So wait, is the lo is the bug over there a blast agent or is that just a placeholder? Hey, uh, uh, El Capitan, right? Pilot to the stars, because you were flying me. Captain Nicole O'Hara, blast airstrike. We've met Jefferson. <laughs> we went to academy together. Oh yeah, sorry. A lot of my training involved repeated blows to the head. <laughs> Names and faces aren't my strong suit, or you know, dates or names. Why do I get the feeling he has? A, he has had a lot of girlfriends broken up, uh, break up with him because he well, forgot they were going on a date or such, or even forgot their name because he was probably two timing them. Whatever. I know an evil lab when I see one. I bet you we're gonna end up some kind of guinea pigs. I know his type. You're not wrong. So maybe see if you can use that head of yours to get us out of here. No luck. Whoever built these cells meant business. Only the best for Dr. Creed. Huh. This is a jailbreak connoisseur, I gotta admit. This is top notch. So what's the plan? Plan? No plan. There's no way out of here. We'll never escape this place. It's impossible. Well, someone's an optimist. Yep, yeah, hello. <sighs> and the bug bugs out. <laughs> Impossible. Well, that worked out. What are you waiting for? Let's go! I was half expecting we'd get to play as a different character for a bit. Yeah, same. We need to hurry before this place is full of Creed's henchmen. Get to the exit. I'll deal with them. What? No, just come with me, Jefferson. Oh no, O'Hara. You fly, I kick ass. That's the deal. And it's time I earned my paycheck. So the other ones were I... off the clock? Ugh, fine. Let's regroup on the beach and don't get yourself killed, Jefferson. No promises. Sweet. Okay. Levitating hammock. Yep. Let's see. Pizza Plus next week we're going to be starting a Lords of the Fallen playthrough. But it won't be a normal playthrough since I'll be using the randomizer mod. Since in the recent, de yeah, recent update, 
By reason I mean one month ago, Blizzard have fallen added in official mods into the game and it made console players very happy since you can't really use mods on console. Yeah, that's that's one thing that consoles really well, don't do for the most part. You could probably uh, modify console, so... Uh, yeah, but you really? should have device against it. Yeah. Since it voids warranty and such. Can we yeah, jump in? Yes, we can. And it can do a lot of uh, other things that could uh, wreck the system. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck with uh, good luck with that pizza. Uh, maybe at some point I'll try a, a Souls-like game, like maybe Sekiro. But bigger chances just that it I'll it'll just kick my ass to, to every Sunday of the year. Hello, BT wannabe. Yeah, that is a robot. There you go, just put a grenade in his back and a, and a shield up its face. Hello, don't mind me. Okay, let's open this. Anything of oh. That's of interest. Actually, yeah, the, the arc on the grenade launcher is really limited. Hmm. I'm not sure if I can even aim it up or down much. Ow. And at least we can buy another upgrade when we get back. And that opened this, I presume? Yep. Okay. But yeah, Jeff doesn't get to say much about basic plans when his basic when his plan is basically a checklist of step one, do something, step two, question mark, step three, profit. Uh there's someone in the tube there. Yeah. Hello. Oh, the bug betrayed us. Dude, you almost got me there. Actually, if you're going to be charging me anyways. Uh, so all this just to eat a donut? Apparently. Ow. Well, at, at the very least, it'll be a very, uh, a very well-deserved donut. Uh, pizza. Uh, it's also against the law in my country. Uh, hey, souls and souls like games are not for everybody. Some people it may make furious to the point of breaking things, and to others it helps them come out of suicide and depression. If you don't believe me on that, you can literally look on YouTube. Okay. Hmm. Is this going to go high enough for it to crush me or something? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to need to get through that. Is there are a lot of uh, many videos of souls and souls like saying people are... Okay. Yep. There we go. Yep. Okay, last hit. Time to get serious. Okay. Yep. Let's see, I don't see a reason to get in there. Since this is not a lever or anything. Uh, there is a reason to get up higher than that. Okay. And what do you do? Nothing too visible. Okay. That opens that. Okay. Hmm. I'm sort of tempted to just go up to the hammock again to just heal up.
Okay. Hmm. There. Uh, let's see this will. Yeah, those cameras are dangerous. Oh, hello, we missed this. Thank you. Yeah, ta -da -ta. Somebody you're imposing your server. Okay. Uh, I've been watching a lot of documentaries about psychology and games. Okay. <laughs> of all the things that kills me, it's contact damage with a freaking pop out camera. What? Okay. Thank God, Captain! Okay, uh, at least the way is clear now. Mostly. Okay. But, yeah. I'm just going to... I'm just going to take it up the ass, apparently. But, yeah. I think there there have been good, good, both good and bad connections with games and uh, mental health and such. Uh, addiction well, can always be a thing, and so... But, yeah, yeah it can also help people. By uh, giving yeah. them outlets. So there has been scenarios where they blame games, where it was clearly said that this person was something already wrong with that they should have given the help much earlier. Yeah. But, but that's they not... Uh, they give me anyway. Yeah, that, that doesn't get the clicks, to put it simply. Yeah, but again... People being blamed with Yugi for a bloody long time. Yeah. Oop. Two cameras. Video games, they believe comic books and all that. Get it? Stuff like that will always try another scapegoat to find to to not actually solve things. Yeah. So many of these things I notice usually happens in in uh, what the heck? Uh, is that, hello. Is that a Scotsman? Uh, so hey pal, you look like you pack a punch. In the name of Blast, I'd like to offer you a chance to partner up. Is that a Scottish cyborg butler? <laughs> well, that's not gonna bite me in the ass later. Uh, let's see, Tatum, video games distract me from my mental illness, XD, uh, Pizza, this game reminds me a lot about this one game I used to play called Dan the Man, I think I've heard of that game, but I don't remember, like, visuals or such. Uh, is Nokia having the axe and the hat a permanent update? Not permanent, but it, it is basically staying there until we're done with the, the Lord of the Rings Battle of Middle-Earth games. Yeah, but it may lead to something that may become permanent. Yeah. Okay, she does not like the bug. The hell? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, nah. -uh. I'll find another way down. Keister's still sore from the crash. The <laughs> <laughs> wet floor sign. I just noticed that. Okay, that was just perfect. <laughs> That's gonna leave a mark. Oh, my poor backside. <laughs> just gonna oh, take a moment here on the floor. I'll just be here for the next week or so. <laughs> oh dear. That's the uh... first goddess bu uh, buff goddess I've ever seen, by the way. <laughs> <sighs> Gotta wonder if that wall smashing cyber dude had an upgraded keister. <laughs> That's what you're thinking about, Scottish ass? Or are you thinking if he actually wore underwear under that skills? Because it's traditional not to wear. Man, I would be unstoppable if I had a metal ass. That guy's so lucky. Well, that's your quote for today. <laughs> okay. Print screen. Okay, bored now. 
Oh, oh we're in a toxic duct. All I was gonna say is, the worst scenarios I have heard has been in, in USA where they blame so much on comic books, they actually burned comic books. Yeah. And because from a history, we know that the people burning books are, of course, the good guys, huh? Big, extra hard, sla no. slash S there, people. Yeah. Nope, oh, new flyer. Oop. And yeah, there's actually people who are back on the book burning f uh, again these days. So, hello. Yeah. But only use A as far as I know at the moment. Right, there might be most areas. Yeah. So, again, most news I hear usually seem to involve USA for some reason. And I don't know no, no, that's a propaganda or if I should be concerned. Yeah, it's just more more dense media media coverage there, I think. Plus uh, the whole thing with Trump and all that, and, and still not being put in jail. Oh, uh, reminds me, if, if you saw a quote from that guy that it made me face from hard. Yeah. Uh, the book quote was, why do, why do, uh, why do Europeans need to speak Spanish? Uh, let's see. Three the only people, uh, you see the, the idiocy in that line. There's the same kind of people who go to Spain and then complain that people don't speak English there. Uh, uh. Let's see. Uh, hazardous environments. This is a safety guide for all operations in the toxic docks. Rule 1. Watch your step. Toxic streams are highly corrosive and can cause significant mutation. If you are con if you're contaminated by toxic material, notify your superiors and they will arrange your euthanization, which is a restorative treatment to look more useful. <laughs> okay, to be fair, a lot of these grunts probably don't know what the word euthanization means. Rule two, don't get eaten. In cases where you have you know, been partially eaten, immediately notify your superiors and they will arrange your cybernetization, which is restorative treatment to become a badass cyborg. Well, that's some more, that's more accurate. That's about it. See you at happy hour. Yeah, I have a good feeling that many of the grunts are cyborgs then. Yeah, there's a chest hidden there. I do suspect the voices is due to the damn helmets. Probably. Oh, oh, I actually thought we'd have to go in here from, a, from an angle. I was just randomly jumping there. Yeah, I also remember another thing that was really much a dead giveaway. The, 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 why reward uh, robots with pizza? Yeah. Then again, he could have intended to just eat the pizza himself from the start. Like, that thing in the upper left really just reminds me of uh, Powerpuff Girls for some reason. Probably because that had just also a lot of round designs, I believe. Or, uh, I think it was a bit what? of a... That was a bad thing. Uh, again, I was a real and avid watcher of Powerpuff Girls. I saw some episodes when they're a little bit stuck. The pilot episode before you actually become an actual TV show, I remember a lot due to. But that one aired a lot. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen the entire V of the series, so hello. Uh, okay, I was not an avid watcher, but I, I seen plenty due to I was waiting for another show to start after it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I just was switching channels and looking for something else to watch. <laughs> let's see. Trust me, dude, you do not want a metal ass. I stopped giving a shite about American politics a long you know, time ago since it doesn't affect my country, so I couldn't you know, care less anymore. Uh, that, on that pizza, uh, sadly enough, uh, America tends to be a bit of a trendsetter when it comes to, well, policies in other you know, areas because, well, ever since Trump managed to get into uh, office and such, it's just 
it has uh, emboldened a whole other a whole new group of similar minded people in different countries uh hey, hello oh that that must be one of the helms they want us uh, the uh, the maniac wants us to find yep Rusty Helmet. A rusty helmet belonged to a long perished creed soldier. Bring it to the Hens Maniac to receive a reward. Okay. Also, for some reason, this this area reminds me of a, a, a game you got, uh, you could get in the 90s for trading in, or turning in a bunch of batteries, called Battery Jack. This from before... Uh, well, hello <clears> there, <throat> my buzzing battle buddy. Say, you wouldn't be looking to partner up. Uh, yeah, to finish, uh, these were before rechargeable batteries were common. Let's see. It is yet to affect India, so I'm happy. Okay. okay Wait, I... I'm looking for an exit! Oh, come on, let's be pals! Help me out, I'll put in a good word with Captain O'Hara. Just imagine, you could be Agent Buzz! I think Agent uh, Lightyear might object to that. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's a big no from the bug. Uh. What's with the bats? That bat actually looked a bit uh, creepy. And what do we have? Okay. Like a living sludge balloon or something. Uh, there. Yep. Jump into that one. Mm -hmm. That's closed, and that's something. Creed symbol or something. Yeah, that looks a bit weird. It's barely, the, the your belly makes me think of a blue whale, but it, but it's too small to be a whale. Hmm. We'll need to open that somewhere else, probably. I guess that's possibly a, a mutated slug, or possibly a mutated fish. The... Okay. Wait, it shoots from above his head and splash into wall. Did he combine slug and ray DNA to make those things? Maybe. Okay. Oh, phone call. BRB. Okay. Let's see. Well, everyone really hates this guy. I wonder why. You're talking about Jeff there, I presume. And yeah, it's totally not. It's totally hard to see why. Uh, I probably should not be heading this way because there's a hammock nearby. I actually expected we'd have to move a bit further. Thank you all the same. Okay. We don't have any more batteries, so... What? Nothing useful there. Hmm. Uh, internal note, mutated fauna. A reminder to all toxic duct personnel, sectors marked red are now exempt from all routine toxic waste dumping due to the increase in mutant fauna attacks. <clears throat> Don't let the drooling fool you. They're getting smarter, people, and they are getting nastier. Do not approach any mutated life with, while conducting your tasks in the ducts, especially those turtle-looking nasties. Glory be to Creed. Okay. Yep. Did we find the, the Ninja Turtles' place here or something? Swords, nunchuck, pizza boxes. I only just now noticed the pizza boxes. Okay. Continuing on. There. Okay. Yep, thought so. Not enough time to make it past a third one. Okay. Okay, I'm guessing they mean these with turtle looking things. Nice. 
Okay. There. Okay, another lever. Okay, I'm just <laughs> I'm just nuking those things with the grenade launcher. Okay, that's just an easy way back. Let's Tatum. Okay, have you seen anything of Deliver Us the Moon or in Deliver Us Mars? Uh, I've, I think I've seen you or someone else play part of those two. For a moment I was thinking about uh, an old RPG Maker game. Oh, hello. Oh, damn it. That had also something to do with the moon, but that is a, that it, that's named differently. I actually have it on my wish list, but mostly because I'd completely forgotten about it, apparently. Okay, can't shoot straight down. Yep, get that thing out quick. up yep. just as we finish okay I might change the swap weapon button to something else and what do we have it in here oh a shortcut okay If you have any ideas for games to possibly stream at some point, Tatum, uh, feel free to put them below the stream or DM them if want be. If want be. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, hello. What do you have against this thing? Uh, I've seen some pudgy slugs in my day, but this one takes the slime-covered cake. <laughs> the suggestion box isn't working. Okay, you, you can DM them to me then, or you could join the server I have and put them in the stream wrecks there. Uh, whatever she said. Listen, ugly. I'll give you five seconds to return Agent Buzz or. Shoot first, talk later. Yep, of course she pisses it off even more. There. Ow. Ew. Yep, thank you. Yep. Ow. Oop. Okay, blue one stick for a bit. Okay. Oh, okay, now I know some of its patterns. Okay. Back in. <laughs> Demon THQ. Okay, let's try and get there without getting hit this time. Mm. Mm. Yep, yep, damn it. <laughs> so much for not getting hit. Uh, then again, oh. We upgraded the healing flask, so we should we should use it. Not, well, not when we've only lost two health. Okay. So, I'm guessing it's going to heal three health, or three hearts this time. Maybe four, but that's probably a bit of a stretch. And yeah, there's literally nowhere else we can go here but down. You. Okay, take two. Mm. 
Yeah, it, it seems to fire up those in a set spread. Yeah. Going to wait one more hit. Oh, those explode into junk. Wait, still only two health? I thought we upgrade or oh we got We are we yeah, us buying it opened the ability to upgrade it. Okay. That's vanished just in time for that. Oh, damn it. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Anything to swap out here for that? Yeah, let's actually... Let's actually swap that for that. Okay. And yeah, try to actually get down without getting hurt this time. Okay. Yeah. There. Okay. I probably should not have done that because I probably would have gotten hit at least once. Okay. Hmm. Okay, no hits taken this time. One hundred coins back. Is it just one hundred that we drop every time? Saving the shotgun for when it gets stunned again by Natasha. Now, ah, damn it, wrong landing land place. Okay, can I get up? Nope. Ah, ah damn it, wrong way. There we go. A fin stage and buzz the beat gobbler. <laughs> now that, huh, that was action. Double Spasina. tap. Wait, you're Russian? <laughs> I guess Red was a better nickname than I thought, huh? Oh, hell with it. The name's Jefferson. Jeff Jeff. <sighs> what? What the what? What the hell are you doing, Red? What is this? Some kind of Soviet trick? Ha, won't work, baby. I'm blast. Can't trick us. I'm pretty sure Jeff could be tricked with a paper that says, look on the other side, <laughs> on both sides. <laughs> Agent Buzz, no! What was what? this now about? What? No, that's my line. What? I mean, what? Somebody explain this crap to me. Jefferson, da? I am Shura, 
Agent Ashura. And I've been sent to this Proclatia Island with one simple task. Ew. Let me guess, assassination? I was sent by the KGB to assassinate Dr. Creed. Killing him turned out to be a piece of cake. But making him stay dead? This I have found troublesome. But I do not take no for an answer. So I tried again. And again. And again. And again. What did you put in that? A new? Creed would not stay dead. Then I noticed something. They call it the phase shift duplicator. I call it very easy to steal, but just as easy to lose. Stupid mistake. I have been chasing that bug all across the island, as were Creed's goons. Damn it. <laughs> and that's how I got here. All clear now? <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> they censor it, but they still <laughs> stay it. Oh! A bloody myth! What happened, Captain? I was gone for a call with my father! Was this high, by the way? <laughs> okay, tell him hi back, but yeah. <laughs> boss fights uh, together with Shura here, who apparently has been playing whack-a-mole with Dr. Creed, because apparently he does not stay fucking dead. Wait, what was her name? Shura. S-H-U-R-A. So... They send her in when they want to make sure that someone is dead. Oh dear. I feel like I got just in time for the cutscene, but I missed the boss fight. Like I, I, okay, this is probably one of the times I actually end up re-watching uh, uh, this episode. Okay, it's at about two hours mark. No, what's this duplicator gadget do? It's allowed Dr. Creed to create a clone of himself, but he's hidden them in... A bunker. Of course. Madmen love bunkers. Maybe a decommissioned missile silo. Ooh. Agent Jefferson, Creed's clones have been placed in quantum suspension. They aren't here. They aren't there. They're just... is somewhere. And this device has access to them, but it requires... <sighs> two people to activate believe me if i had any choice i wouldn't ask a capitalist caveman for help but a team up yes you're the red and i'm the white and blue banding together to take dr creed down for good don't make her want to shoot you any more than she already does i yes i suppose by a heli Okay, I did not expect that to be pronounced that way. American? Jefferson? Yet, if you can hear me, do not panic. I guess we do get uh, <laughs> other characters to play as well then. Wait, wait, it's Russian? Yep. All right. I believe I... you have been quantumized by the device. You are not in an old missile silo. Somewhere far in the distance in quantum instability, Jeff goes, Aww. <laughs> oh dear. I, I, I was saying this. It, it, normally when I have someone that's from Russia, they will usually go into the, you know, the typical stereotype. Yeah. Tall, so, white, uh, yeah, tall, wide, and white, Caucasian. Yeah, a lot of fur and all that. So, yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. Yes, he was sent by the KGB, but I guess you could have read that uh, as being hired by the KGB. Okay, but... that's why that name was familiar. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Drakir just for a time completely forgot that the KGB was just the Russian spies and such. Okay. I can forgot them. I need to get to the surface. My priority is still the mission. 
It, actually, here's the thing. I did just being CCP, if I remember right. Then I would probably have gotten it. Yeah, that, that, that's not a spy agency. That's just the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, the, the one that Russian had in the Soviets. That's the KGB. It's the right. FSB now, but it's it, it's just a name change. Oh. Okay, uh, sure. Uh, nimble KGB assassin equipped with a grappling hook. Okay, so this this is how we're going to get a bunch of other abilities. Just <laughs> quantum uh, swap with other people. Viper, high precision sniper rifle, an elegant tool of barbaric destruction. And the grappling hook allows Shura to uh, grapple certain objects. With left mouse button and the phase shift duplicator, a strange device that allows several people to be interchangeably connected on a quantum level. Okay. Okay, and. Okay, you also understand it right. For I recall seeing. C. 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 P. For a lot of old Russian spies. Uh, that was in that was in No One Lives Forever, I believe. Yeah, and I seen it in all the media as, as well. So, had I seen that initial, I, the, yeah, I would have not looked. I would probably remember it right away. But it's just such a well unique acronym, I guess you could say. Hmm. I think it's just a made-up one, though. So we're not sure if that has any real life connotation. It, Triple CP, that is. Yeah, but I, I see that that one more than... I, I think I've heard of KBB a lot, but I've never seen it written. <laughs> Every time I, I hear people talk about Russian spies and agents and such, I use the triple CP. A triple CP? That sounds weird to say. Uh, could it be to avoid using an actual real uh, organization's name or such? That or is actually the acronym in their language? Hmm. Maybe. It's hard to know. I think I'm actually going to swap, uh, edit, let's see, let's turn that to Y. Wait, 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 here's the thing I figured why we should we would have more heroes. Hero 1, Hero 2, Hero 3, Hero 4. Yeah, okay, I, <laughs> I'd forgotten that bit. No, okay. no, I did not have a false memory. Yeah, just a bad one. Look who's talking. <laughs> At least I admit it. <laughs> oh, I have admit, admit many times before. Come here. And that's why I ain't gonna get a hammer later. Is a bogan hammer an axe? This makes sense for the bonks. So I feel like we should probably replace the bone with an actual hammer sound. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, now... actually, we could have both. Like the hammer okay, for now... more, more intense moments. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> I, I like that they actually some pretty smooth animation for these still. If really? Just, just check above here. What does it say? Hmm? Here. But, uh, let's see here. Uh... Okay, the lower one says corp. It... It's oh! <laughs> evil corp. <laughs> hmm. uh, let's see. Tatum. Uh, ta -da -ta. Mm -hmm. Okay, Committee for State Security. Uh, there's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to pronounce that, but yeah, it's not uh, CCCP. So I think that has been just been made as some sort of parody or filler, whatever. 
Or is the one that became the current KGB? No. Or, uh... All this KGB, old name is KGB, new name is FSB. But basically they're the same. They're basically the same organization with just a name change. We'll punch everything until this makes... Uh... Uh... Red? I... I might be having hot flashes. This is impossible. Uh, yo, Red? You sound close, but, like, also miles away? Shura? Jefferson, Jefferson. I'm here. I'm here. Ah! Oh! Russian mind tricks! Oh, I will punch my own head to get you out of there! Calm down, Agent. This is quantumized. What is happening? <laughs> She's getting angry. We have purged the Creed clones from there. But by doing so, it seems we have realigned the duplicator to our own quantum frequencies. I have no idea what any of that means. Didn't expect him to. Yeah, and thank you, Tatum. That's going to explain a lot. Okay, yeah, that explains that. Hip, you oaf. But only one of us can exist in this dimension at a time. Hmm. Yeah, so the other one goes into the quantum purse. Well, could have bought a boy dinner first, at least, you know. <laughs> She's going to kick you in the nuts once wait, you wait, two yeah, are disentangled. Wait, 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 give me a moment. This is not for Hilda this time. This is for Jeff. <laughs> not the team up I was hoping for, but. What the hell? We can sort this crap out later. Let's go deal with Creed! Uh, oh, yeah. if, if, the, if it were to the fact that he can still be heard, then Blast would probably take this as a good alternative to uh, the Jeff problem. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, again, thank you, T, but that will explain a lot. Yeah. And that probably means I, every time people talked about spies from Russia that time, they always showed that acronym definitely could lead some to some misunderstanding yeah so cccp is just for mm, it's just the soviet union <clears throat> in russian yeah. <laughs> let's see strict lockdown updates threat level of the lower region has been elevated to absolutely fatal access to the lower region of the tox yeah, toxic ducts is now forbidden to any personnel including those of lieutenant and rank turn back now yeah great and of course All we right. need to go down further to make wait. progress wait are, 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 you, are they telling me that i'm not allowed here anymore <laughs> nope oh, i better get going then mm. Uh, oh. Laser bomb. And yeah, we now have her sniper rifle as a support weapon. Let's see. Yeah. I'm still sometimes <laughs> just reaching for the A button to jump. What have we here? A laser that's not turning off. So this is again something else. Okay. Uh, better get a drink. Okay. I wonder when we'll find one of those flowers. So we can upgrade the amount of time that we can use our totally not Estes flask. Okay, there's a door there, so good thing that we took the higher path. Mm. Yep, overshot. Yep, again. Yep, damn it. <laughs> Why am I... Too early. 
Oop. Wait. Did I forget to pick up from a previous point? Okay, I guess that... Well, I guess now we know what happens when we die once... When we haven't recovered our money. It just gets eaten by the loot bug. Okay, so there is a punishment if you get too clumsy. Yeah. At the least, it takes you several t uh, deaths before that happens. Yes, a second death or without having recovered it, I presume. Yeah. Oop. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. Oop. Okay. There's another one of those helmets. Hmm. I probably should have swapped out the <clears throat> the the module on the PDA, but oh well. Yep. Okay. Let's just go down. There and there. Okay. Hmm. Once we're done with this game, I'm thinking we could probably put up a longer one, like a oh. Cyber Sleuth. Uh, okay, I'm for Cyber Sleuth, but that was not what you were to say. What did you? What were you expecting then? A uh, certain yeah. game you've been wanting to stream for a while that also is Castlevania like, or oh. Metroidvania like. <clears throat> that was on a 3DS, I think, or something? Uh, uh, no, DS. I, Order of Ecclesia. Uh, but, say it again? Yep. Order of Ecclesia. That's the one. I thought you were about to say that one. Yeah, we, I could put it forward. I was, I, I was honestly thinking of doing that more as a main week thing. Yeah, I was pondering that as well. That's why I was pondering... I was funny, but yeah, I'm up for Cyber Sleuth. Yeah, I will do for a bit one... of research on certain, um, yeah, certain Digimon to go for. Well, like, I would say usually go balanced. Yeah. <clears throat> and I have used guides for it before, but the guy, only guess I used was to you know where all the. Memories and all such are for uh, upgrade is I can have more Digimon with me, or but you know, each memory yeah. me Digimon takes different amount of memory. Yep. To find out those upgrades helps. Yeah. There, quickly drink. Oh, because yes. I remember how I used to play it. Uh, but this, I, I played it twice. Second time was due to I, I had some problem on PS4. And I probably did something that probably also ended up uh, deleting all the saves, so I had to replay the game. Okay. I did have a tactic that in the, in the morning to midday before I eat my dinner, but that's how I eat, that's when I eat dinner, translation wise, mid dog means midday. Okay. So, and I kind of old school for actually. I had a lot that many people used to eat dinner at midday. So yeah, a bit old school like that. But anyway, yeah. From morning to midday, leveling. And was I eating food? And if I still had energy, I did story. Okay, yeah. There will be grinding with that game needed. Yeah, the the grinding will be done off stream. Yeah. And having it on and playing it for the story for four hours is a good idea for that's kind of how it kind of will work uh, rather well. <laughs> then uh, during the other days, you just take one area and grind on it and make sure you don't progress the story. 
It will mean that any fights for story itself will likely be, well, very easy, but better than getting stuck like an hour in or so. <clears throat> yeah, I never really got stuck. The only one I got stuck is on a bonus quest to unlock uh, Imperial Drone Paladin mode. That's the only one I ever got stuck. And I don't count the Colosseum quest as getting stuck. As the, the, I, maybe it was I intentionally lost on for there were good ways to grant some very good loot. Okay. And damn good way of leveling. Okay, hoping this leads directly to the hammock. Oh, and there's a... Yep, yep. I spotted a uh, fake wall. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. The question was Okay, let's. And here comes the founder. There. Okay. Yeah, just, just straight awake and aim in looking for people trying to kill her. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, these two are definitely the military train since. If I remember right, if many, if not everyone that Jones has been in the military have learned to take power naps. Yeah, yeah. Or, again, you will kind of need it. You will need me to be able to sleep and wake up when needed and all by yourself. There. Damn it. There. Okay, I can hit that thing when it jumps back over. Yeah, it seems to look like a mixed a blue whale with a slug. Yeah, from the way it sounds, it isn't. These weren't made intentionally. More just. Well. Created through the pollution that uh, Creed has been causing. Hmm. Also, something I, I wonder now, since we have this, uh, ow. since we have the, uh, come on, since since we have Creed's uh, quantum uh, toy, does that mean if he gets killed now, he will actually stay that, or does he you know, just have backups, perhaps? Like backups already made? Yeah. Do, didn't it, it sound like she, they just killed all of them or something? Mm, true, she did say something to that effect. Okay. Not particularly liking that it's just automatic, that we can't really aim this thing without. Well, we can't aim it too accurately without uh, just firing. But, uh, well. Okay, I'm just making stupid mistakes over and over again. Uh, don't worry. It, it is annoying with these kinds of levels. Like, well, yeah, this is probably why I do why I struggle early on with Nintendos and such a bit games due to levels like these and other kinds. Yeah, and apparently Actually, we can yeah. just find the bug float, yeah, flying around at times so we can get back money that we've lost. Nice little Wait, thing. What? I, it I, just I showed up that. and I shot it. I, I don't think I had time to uh, raise so that was the damn bug. <laughs> well, now you know, and knowing is half the battle and all that. Uh, you, you, did you just go with a yep. show that was popular at that time? <laughs> okay. What the? Oh, it's lightning. Very, very frightening. Galileo, Galileo, something, something, something. Hey, there comes the uh, thunder itself in response to your singing. So you're saying I have the ability to summon thunder? 
Uh, I think you're, you, I think you're, you made the fool angry. Let's see. Anything this way? Yeah, there's another entrance there, but... Yeah, let's go for the hammock. And we have a new save point. And we'll re refresh our health. Oop. Also shortcut. There. Okay. Making progress. Slowly but surely. Yep. Hmm. Now I just need to be really careful. Okay. There. That, that one's turned off permanently. Okay. And this should be easy enough. Yep. Okay. I like that the game so far isn't too hard, but it isn't uh, too easy either. Just... Right amount of challenging. Yeah. It's sometimes kind of rather hard to do with these, but it's, it's actually very, very important to do. Yeah. Okay, now we can progress forwards again. Okay. Glad that didn't count for a second tick of damage. There. Okay. I wonder if for some of the weapons, if we need to go find them in other places, or if we get all of them just from going through the story. Okay. There. Okay, I probably need to rebind the controls at some other point as well, as we get more and more things, because... Yeah, it's look. It sounds like each character will have two abilities each. So there, there probably will be some points where I'll need to swap between those quickly. And at the moment, they are well. One of them is bound to Y, and the other is to the right shoulder button. Again, one of these. We'll get to that when we get to that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And then one part I, I kind of like and at the same time somewhat dislike that enemies are not dropping health or anything like that. But that's just, yeah, just need to get used to that and, well, play a lot more cautiously. Also, this is going to be a fight. The shield guys spawn at the raised bits. We can just stand underneath them to avoid their shield. There we go. <laughs> it's slow mo at the end of it. Okay. Hmm, that needs to be activated. Now I'm curious, who will the other two be? I'm presuming one of them is going to be the pilot. But then the fourth one is going to be a mystery. Yeah, for... Yeah, for I think when we talked about this first time, we thought, okay... Jeff... The Armas... 
and the pilot and one mystery, but the Arbos is the shopkeeper. Yes, sir, he's unlikely. Yeah. And this one, definitely a surprise. So there is still a mystery one. Going from one switch to the next. So technically, I guess we had two mystery allies to begin with. <laughs> so for, I don't know, we might be free for maybe the Maybe the pilot will not be one of the third ones. Yeah, we'll just have to see. For now, I just need to look, get us forwards. Let's go. Oh, lines on the walls. There we go. Hmm. Is one of those flowers nearby? Yes, it is. Sentinel's flower, a beautiful flower that possesses mysterious healing properties. Okay. When we get back, we can use that to double our amount of uh, flask uses. Mm. Just need to both survive <laughs> until then first. Oop. Okay, lowering platforms. Hmm. There, there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Up. Uh, yeah, I gotta say, I'm not regretting picking this game at all. Oop. Yeah, I, I like it. Do I... Oh. I feel a bit annoyed for missing uh, some part of it, but again, it was my father. Yeah. I did want to talk to him a little bit uh, before they uh, go on a trip. I think we can pull those down. Oop. Give me that. Okay. Nope. Hmm. I'm reminded there's actually a taco uh, shop somewhat in the area. I should probably go look there tomorrow or something. And yeah, this is where we first you... got in here. <laughs> you bring up the tacos again? Yes. Because <laughs> I'm freaking hungry. I'm as well, for I'm about to make more food soon. Here you go. Is this one of the helmets you were talking about? Clark, I mean, yes. It belonged to my bestest of friends, henchman number 463. Hey there, number 463. It seems like you lost some weight, and by that I mean your whole body, of course. <laughs> Ooh, who are you talking to, pal? This is a private conversation. Shoot, go away. Find other helmets while we catch up. Okay, we get a kit for that. Okay, I'm guessing we can talk to the robot once we found all four of those helmets that he wants. Okay, so for now we just head out. <clears throat> Find a fast travel point. Go back to base, upgrade the flask. Maybe build something else. <clears throat> Ohara, this is Agent Jefferson, or, as I have just decided, codename Nighthawk. Establish temporary mission HQ near the beach. Report back for... I read you. Sort of. Nighthawk out. <laughs> Temp HQ. What, a tarp and a couple of crates of crap? <laughs> Those support dorks are lost without somebody competent in charge. Yeah, too bad we don't have someone like that, huh? <laughs> yeah! No, yeah! I know! Just testing you! Good job, you passed. Over and out. I... Those gags of you're still on, you're still on, uh, sir, they're, they're a bit predictable, but that doesn't make them any less funny. Yeah, they, I feel like those are one of those 
Clacks, classics that don't die. But you can yeah. still do so many oh, variations of them. Fresh air. Oh, sewers are the worst, <laughs> right, Shura? And look at that. There's Darla, just where I left her. No sweeter ride on this whole. Wait, when did you name it? <laughs> hey, man, what the hell you think you're doing? That ain't your bike. Uh, so I think we. I think I can take a guess at one of the other heroes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Can't trust nobody anymore. Uh, guess we're hoofing it back to camp, Shura. <laughs> okay, I like that. I was fully intending on... Go mm. on uh, <laughs> nice bit of design. But by, by, yeah, by telling us to go back to HQ, they basically guided us... Uh, yeah, they laser pointed us to the nearest fast travel point, only to have him steal it. <laughs> Uh, also, uh -oh. before I do anything else, uh, guns, supports. Yeah, let's go back to the shotgun. Yep. Actually, let's take a look at what it says about this thing. Uh, yeah, it's just what it said earlier. Okay. Uh... Yep. Oh, I was expecting that to be a deeper. <laughs> And I'm just reminded of those you know, cases where someone falls into water and they start splashing around like they're drowning and such, only to have it revealed, Oi, it's like only 10 centimeters deep. Stand the fuck up. <laughs> Which is also rather predictable, but typically decently funny, unless it's too obvious. Yeah, like, I guess it depends on how deep it is. And how it is done. But for me, it's still uh, one of those. It could have been, uh, 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 Yeah, they, they were fun as. Uh, all the way in the 70s and still are funny today. No, I'm sure they were done that already way back in the 70s, but I would not be surprised. Ah, damn it. Just cut the edge. Okay, we're just getting our trial, of, trial by fire of uh, Shura's ability. Okay. Hmm. Still got a decent amount of time to go. So at the very least, we can probably get back. You know, is this for? Yeah, this is for. Uh, this is for an upgrade. I'm presuming. Okay, we got 100 back from that. Come on. Okay. There. I need to not wait as long with the grapples. And I need to not move too early as well. Same mistake. Or different mistakes, same spot. Yep, that's it. What is this? Azure Battle Core Fragment. A piece of an ancient power core exuding calm, peaceful energy. Bring five pieces to the Paragon Assembler to create a powerful weapon. Okay. Wait, that must be... Oh, that's this thing. The top secret one. This weapon has not been crafted yet. Okay. Hmm. Alright. I was fully expecting... Yeah, I was fully expecting another upgrade, uh, or just a heart piece or whatever. No, that's good as well. Hmm. Uh, world map. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to go quite a distance back. Okay. 
Is there anything more going to happen on the way back? This does actually give us time to do these bits, which we couldn't do before. Oop. Move too early. A coin. Or thingy. Yeah, more like a bar. I've also noticed that there's, there's, that there's hollow coins and full coins, I could get, I guess you could call them, with the, the center missing or filled. I'm presuming those have different values. The hollow ones are just one. Yeah, it... Actually, I have a hollow coin, but a coin with a hole in the middle. Okay. Uh, it's a Danish one. I'm hmm. not sure how we got our hands on it, but... Yeah, I've been using it uh, at times for, uh, well, flipping coin, maybe, maybe we needed to. <laughs> but also for uh, yeah. scratching away things on those uh, Nintendo cards where you get a code right in a value and such. Okay. I'll take that. The more the merrier. Or the more I have, the more the merrier I'll be. There. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Close shot. Okay. I'll take that. And, yeah, save spot here. Hmm. Hmm. Will, this, will this thing have updated? Uh, no. Okay. A bit disappointing on one hand, but uh, on the other hand, predictable. Would be nice if just new state editions of the enemy like that would update from time to time. Would be, but that would be. I will see why it would not be, but it would be a nice occasion. But yeah. also mean there could be a lot of uh, missed content as well. Yep. Uh. So, yeah, give and take, uh, a bit of a uh, pros and cons. Yeah, pros and cons. Okay. There's another entrance or pathway up here. So I like that once they lose line of fire, they immediately stop because they're not going to have uh, they're not going to waste a shot on something that well is not going to hit anyways. Yeah, but I always find it really weird when they just keep firing. Well, Dar Darth Helmets typically tells them to keep firing. <laughs> keep firing, assholes. Again, we're gonna add the space balls to the list to force to watch, uh, Captain. Yeah. <laughs> For at this point, it's probably better to just see them. I've seen parts of the movie. I feel like it's better to just actually see the full thing. And who oh, no, yeah. Maybe take a. You know what? We can also give the series a watch. Wait, there was a series of space balls. A, yep, a space ball series. <laughs> yeah, it, it came out much later, several years later. It's, uh, I get it, it's old by now. I, I funnily enough, I think it came out around off of two thousand. Okay, we'll have to take a look. Yeah, but for next week at least things are set since well Liz had to miss the <clears throat> had to miss this. Uh, yeah, they want us. Uh, they want us to watch uh, Tintin: Secret of the Unicorn. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think I have seen, but if, yeah, I think I see, saw that one in the cinema. Hmm. I'm not but sure where I saw that one. I think it. I think I saw that one in cinema as well. Yeah, but it wasn't so long ago. Yeah, it, it, I think it's been like ten years since that released. Something like that. But yeah, I know I have watched other Tintin movies before, and I. I recall I did like them, so I'm up for it. Okay. But yeah, I always felt a bit confused by the name. A lever. Tintin. I always felt that a bit a curious name. <clears throat> yeah, that's the uh, the English name for him. I forget what's the 
I think it was really the, it's, the original name is French, I believe. Well, that I do remember. There we go. Two uses. But it, okay, it doesn't get automatically rebuilt. Okay. Now, uh, let's right. swap to Jeff before they start shooting at the unknown agent. Hmm. Actually, you just saved, so let's take a look and see if that happens. I, I, it'll probably save once we buy something. No, I meant uh, to see if they have a, re a reaction to uh, Shura. Uh, to the other guy first, not the quest. They will be need for the quest. Okay, he, do he doesn't react at all. All right. A bit pity, but understandable. Yeah. One more for another hearth. Okay. And we could upgrade this place. But I kind of want to see what the other things are as well. Like here we have... Designed and built by Santiago, converts ruin crystals into additional batteries. And do we have anything over this way that can be built? We have the motorcycle again. Are you sure the signboard on that building is gone now? Yep, <laughs> they took it down. Hey, let's take this one. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> Okay. The battery can be used to charge a PDA. Okay. That means we can now have two things active. Mm, yes. Okay. There. Now, which do we do? Double invulnerability. Gaining energy when hurt. Let's take that one for now. We can swap it out later. Piece of crap. Jefferson, still alive, I see. De Armas just lost a bet. What's your status? Let me bring you up to speed. I've kicked a lot of ass. I recruited a bug for Blast, but he died. And, oh, yeah, this. Huh. That's new. That's a bit of an underreaction. <laughs> right? Don't ask me to explain it. But there was this quantum thing to her. And long story short about it, it uh, kind of, sort of fused me with this Soviet assassin, Shura. I see. That's completely ridiculous. I guess? But, uh, I mean, well... Oh, believe me. I'm not expecting you to explain this to me. Tell me about the assassin. Well, sure is after Dr. Creed too, so we got us a tag team thing going, see? So, now you're all cozy with the Soviet spy. Well, hold on now. It ain't like that. Just making the best of a bad situation. And as far as I'm concerned, our best move is taking this party to Creed's fortress. I hate to break it to you, Jefferson, but that's a non-starter. Creed's inner fortress is surrounded by a force field. And that laser defense cannon watches over the island. Oh, yeah. The huge cannon up on the mountain. That's the one that blasted us out of the sky, right? Probably. Maybe it was the other <laughs> giant laser cannon on the other island that shot you down. Maybe. The very same. Starting to get the picture. Oh, yeah. No, I got you. Hey, on a kind of related note, though, how do huge laser cannons and force fields go together again? Well, they... I mean... Okay. Yes, that could work, in theory. But it's not feasible. You'd need an army to get to the cannon. I think the Doomsday Clock just ticked a little closer to 12 because Jeff just had an actually good idea. Oh... Like hell. All you need's a well-sculpted slab of badass loaded to the brim with heavy weapons and can-do attitude put together in one sexy package labeled Jeff Jefferson. <laughs> Credits for the voice actor for not cracking up. And God I damn think it, they that did. ain't exactly what you got right here. 
Well, if I've... you're going on a death run, <laughs> let me at least make sure you're running the right way. The lift on the village outskirts. I crafted this lever to get it working again. Go ahead. I would say, I think they did crack up after they finished the damn sentences. Probably it. And, <laughs> Probably would have taken quite a few takes. Yeah, and I recognize the all of the voice actors here so far. And this guy, Jeff's uh, voice actor, is definitely the guy who fits these roles. <laughs> Try not to get killed right away, Jefferson. <laughs> Life's a breach. <laughs> Escape breach containment cells and rendezvous with O'Hara. No, O'Hara. <clears throat> a low tech lever put together from scrap by Captain O'Hara. <laughs> okay, but I think we should probably call it there though. Since we only have like six minutes to go. <clears throat> so, oh, whilst dear. Jeff gets a nap, uh, yeah. Let's go look for someone to raid, then. So, I get the catapults ready. Let me get the mouse out there. Okay. Oop. Okay. Oh, also always nice when a game uh, just for, the pauses when it loses focus. Okay. So it didn't do that earlier. Hmm. Odd. Anyways, let's have a look at who all is online. Uh, it's, bu it's busy. Let me change the screen share for the here so they can also take a look. There and there. <clears throat> Let's see. We have... Uh, yeah, it's the raid thing again. So, yeah, let's open it up and see what it says. Let's see. Ruffer Raccoon is, ho is holding Summer Games Fest Day 2. Uh, okay, yeah, it's this. there's a Games Festival or event going on a bunch of stuff got uh, a bunch of stuff got announced yesterday apparently it also included a new harry potter quidditch game of all things never expected to see a second one of those <laughs> uh, ta -ta -ta. then we have tart scaly tail uh, who is playing pacific drive voracious the dwarf is playing dark and darker uh, baseball, not too interesting, I'd say. And then we have Wilder Myth. Yeah, we have Karen I playing Wilder Myth. Okay. Any of those sound interesting, or shall we take a look at, well, more everyone? Well, we can put this in a grid view to put, to see some more. Hmm. Uh, I would like you to take a pick. Mm hmm. So, Rosier with uh, Fallout, Puffle Cake with Questmaster. Can't say I've heard about that. Um, let me let me just put this away and look get a fuel view. Okay, it was showing everything. We also have yeah, profound badness who was also covering the event thing. Okay, uh, raid browser. Mm -hmm. Let's go say hi to Touch Scaly Tail. It has been a bit, I think. Uh, yep, place is muted. Good. Okay. <clears throat> But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later, either for Titanfall 2 or for this game. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, thank you, Tatum. Thank you, Pizza. Thank you, Marco. And uh, at the start, let me just scroll back up. Uh, Tuffle plays. Thank you as well. And yeah, <laughs> thank you, Ram, for popping in at the last minute. And as always, thank you, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining. Uh, yeah, tomorrow, uh, likely Minecraft, though maybe another Showcase Sunday. I do have eight games prepared. Uh, <clears throat> most of them are from C to D, but I do have one that is just straight up to the, <laughs> the second half of the alphabet with an S. <clears throat> but we'll see about that. I'll see if anyone else will be online for the server tomorrow and yeah we'll 50 50 i'd say <clears throat> all right okay but for now then uh let me get this back up yeah uh start raids thank you all again for watching and until next time have a nice day and until then be safe everyone sleep well and watch out for undead seagulls
Especially uh, seagulls with lasers, because Creed probably has a few of those. Oh, gods. 